Hello everybody, this is Theron. Welcome to Minecraft Maker. And we're doing something a little different today. Uh, so, a little launcher. Uh, so, this How to Run Minecraft 8, Minecraft in Java 8 on Mac OS X, Mac OS 10, is by far my most popular video on YouTube. And I get lots of comments about this and Cinders and Ashes, uh, about a week ago, said, I'm so effing lost. Can you please help make one for the new Minecraft.net website? Yes, I can. Here we go. So I'm going to do, this is going to be completely new because things have changed a little bit. So um, the problem is that Apple ships an old version of Java with Mac OS X. And, which is, you know, whatever. Uh, it's they they ship old versions of lots of different uh, other third-party software. Uh, it's it's fine. Uh, it used to be that if you went to Minecraft and downloaded the the vanilla launcher, you would get uh, uh, you would you would play with the old version of Java, and that old version. Uh, uh, Moyang really wanted to get away from that old version. The game wasn't designed for it, and it uh, just wasn't it wasn't working. So uh, it didn't work well. So uh, I came up with a way that I showed here is relatively straightforward of installing the newer version of Java on the computer, and then getting Minecraft to use it. And the the solution was basically to go to Oracle, download the current version of Java, install it. And then go grab the Linux version of Minecraft and run that. And that works. Because it's just Java, it's kind of cross-platform, all that. Uh, so let me show you how that works. And then I will get to the end and then tell you to ignore everything I say. Because basically, you don't need to do this anymore. But in the event that you want to, here's what you do. So from oracle.com, if you go in the menu, what you want is we want Java uh, Java Standard Edition, Java SE. So if we come here to Java SE, you get this little page here, and if we, Java SE, uh, Standard Edition, and Java SE, and, uh, rah, rah, rah. Um, get started embedded. I just want to download. Where's the, hang on a second. I'll put a link to the page in the description where you can download this. Okay, so this is the page I was looking for. Uh, this is the Oracle Technology Network, Java, Java SE overview, and then we can, hey, stop it. And then I said, stop it. Uh, why are you doing this to me? Downloads, this is what we want. So you need a couple things. One is you need the Java runtime engine. That's this JRE here. And you, you click on download there. And the other thing that you really should have, but it's not strictly necessary, is the Java development kit. So that's this here. So if you go here, so for the Java runtime environment, you click on accept license, you come down here to Mac OS 10, and you want the, you want this one here, the, the DMG, it's a disk image, download that. And then for the JDK, same thing. You can, accept the license agreement and you come down here and download the disk image for Mac OS 10. And what you get from there looks like this. So you get these two disk images and installing these is pretty straightforward. You just, you just launch it and you want to do both of them. I don't know that the order matters. You open up, double click on the disk image and then just double click on this installer package. That's all it takes. You may have to restart. I don't. I don't think it requires a restart, but it may. Double click on that, and then you can dismount the two disk images. Next, you want to go to Minecraft.net and log into your Minecraft account. And once you're logged into your Minecraft account, you come up here to download, and it'll come here, and it'll. You already own Minecraft because you've already purchased it, and you click here. You, normally, you would click here download for Mac OS. You should do that anyway. But to download the Linux version, you come here to all show all download options and you click download for Linux. And what that will download for you is this minecraft.jar. This is the, the generic Java launcher. This is the disk image 
for the Mac version of Minecraft. And I'm doing this here because I have a, I'm doing it now, so it's, it's easy to install, but I'm not going to do that because this is a brand new computer. And not that it matters so much for this, but I'm recording in 1080p, which is kind of exciting. Uh, testing the new computer, we'll, we'll see how it goes. So, once you install these two, you should be able to open up a terminal window here and type Java. And it'll come back and show you something like this. It'll, it'll give you a, a bunch of help information to say, okay, you're ready to go. And I think we can actually do Java version. No, Java version. And it'll come back and tell you that you're running 1.8.0, blah, blah, blah. This number will change like a couple weeks from now. They'll release a new build. So you'll be, but it'll be 1.8 something is kind of the current build. So once you have that installed, you should be able to come here and double click on the, the jar file. And yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, it's going to complain because it's not from a recognized developer. So if you if you right click on it and then come here and then launch, open it with the jar launcher app, it'll come up and then say, are you sure? And say, yes, open. And then it'll, then it will actually launch. And then this should look somewhat familiar. And it's going to have to download the game because I haven't actually installed Minecraft on this uh, this computer yet. OK, so now this should look real familiar. This is the old launcher, and it says you are running an old version of the launcher. Please consider using the new launcher, which will improve the performance of both the launcher and the game. And I recommend that you do this because the version of Minecraft, the new launcher, actually comes with Java 8 bundled, and it's the version of Java that they developed the game in. And when they start developing with the newer version of Java, they will update the launcher to include it. Right now, I'm running the very latest version of Java, and it should sync up with what they developed with. But you know what? It could be that Java Sun or Oracle introduces some new Java feature or something that breaks Minecraft. And doing this is actually a little bit ris risky. So, But I can come here and play, and it's going to download 1.12 and play. And this will take a little bit because my network is not, my internet is not great, but let's let it download and show you that it's working. One thing, one thing that I wanted to bring up, uh, when you install the Java, I think it's the runtime environment, one of the things that's gonna pop up, it's gonna say, hey, would you like to install Yahoo homepage? And it comes with the checkbox already checked. Uncheck that. Because if you don't, it will change your homepage and it'll install Yahoo toolbar and you don't really necessarily, you don't want that. So, but you can opt out. Um, it's some deal that they made with Yahoo. So uh, make sure you uncheck that. It's on one of the dialog boxes as you go through the installation process. It's on one or the other. I don't remember which. And it's only one. And it's, it, you, can, you can just get rid of it. Oh, and the other thing to mention after you get through the security exception on the Mac on running this this jar file, uh, you can relaunch it later just by double clicking on it. You don't have to uh, uh, you don't have to go through that uh, right click and open with every time. It, it remembers that you know you really do want to open that particular file. And I don't think, oops. Uh, I don't know, you can make a shortcut or make alias. I don't know if you can like put this on the desktop. You might be able to, uh, or put it someplace else. You want to stick this file, this jar file someplace where you remember where it is so that you can, uh, you can get back to it. If, if you want to run Minecraft this way, it, it, but again, I really, really think you should install, um, the, the current launcher which installs very simply it adds this uh, disk image and you just copy it into your applications folder just like any other application and we're done you can dismount that and then you launch it by uh, going in here and launching minecraft i'm not going to do that right now because it will cancel that please uh it, it will 
uh, it will detect that this version has been run and it'll say, oh, it's basically this, the, the new version is not, new version of the launcher is not backwards compatible with this version of the launcher. So you can run this version and then run the current for the current current launcher, which is much slicker looking than this anyway. Um, and everything's cool. But if you run the new version of the launcher and then try to run this one again, it'll come up and complain and say, oh, are you sure you ran a newer version of the launcher? Uh, and then it'll it'll reset your profile. And that's that's this profile thingy here, which stop. Oh, it's it really wants you. It really wants you to download the uh, the current launcher. It really wants you to download the current launcher. Uh, and again, I really think you should because it just works. I don't, there's not a really good reason to, uh, to use the older launcher anymore. It doesn't really, uh, benefit you. Okay. So I've got installed. I need to adjust some of my, uh, my, my preferred settings, um, move the drop item to the, to the P button and I adjusted all my sound levels. And now I should be able to go in multiplayer. Let's go full screen. Log on to Minecraft LAN party. And here we are inside the pyramid. Oh, and of course, because it's new, I'm going to get all the, the, the tutorial stuff. Okay. Anyway, just, just wanted to show that this actually works and there we go. Uh, so I am running the the Linux version and using the very latest version of of uh, of Java. So uh, so this I just want to show that it works and that's how you go about doing it. Um, however, uh, I, I really think that the, this doesn't really do anything for you anymore. And you really should just run the latest Macintosh launcher from Mojang because it's uh it, it works and it's got the version of the game the version of the game that of java that they developed the game in and that uh that's really what you want because that's what it's optimized for so there we go all right uh i think that's that's all that's really important here oh look at this glorious hd um so that uh, that was I think that shows everything uh, and I hit all my all my necessary points Let's see how many squiddies we got down here um, but that's it thank you for watching this is Theron this is Minecraft maker and happy uh, happy Minecrafting all right see you later bye